National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hey there, naturopathic Dr. Jonathan Beatty, health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Today I want to talk to you about a little blood marker known as homocysteine. Why we want to be concerned with our homocysteine levels is because research has shown that elevations in homocysteine, which is a naturally occurring byproduct of protein metabolism in the human body, but elevated levels of it are shown to be increasingly associated with cardiovascular disease and stroke. Basically, the higher your homocysteine levels are, the greater your risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. Now, it doesn't mean it's necessarily causative. What it does tell us though is there's a breakdown in the normal metabolism of homocysteine. Why that's important is homocysteine is generated as your body breaks down proteins. And normally, when your body's healthy and you have adequate nutrition, your body will actually recycle homocysteine and eliminate it. But if your nutrition is impaired, if inflammation is present and you're producing too much homocysteine, these levels increase and that's associated with a metabolic impairment that's going to lead to the development of cardiovascular disease. Now, there are a few vitamins involved in the metabolism of homocysteine. Homocysteine is basically broken down using uh, folate, B12, and vitamin B6. These are the three most important things to supplement if your homocysteine levels are elevated. Typically, I recommend anywhere between 50 and 100 milligrams of pyridoxal 5-phosphate or the active version of vitamin B6. Uh, when it comes to B12, I typically recommend about 5 milligrams a day of methylcobalamin or the active version of B12. And from folate, I recommend a gram a day of methyl tetrahydrofolate, which is the active form of folate. Many people take the inactive folic acid, and if you lack the enzyme required to activate it, it may not be able to do anything for you, so you could be supplementing without getting any of the benefit, which is why I typically do recommend using that active form to ensure that your body can metabolize and eliminate that homocysteine, normalizing energy metabolism and preventing the development of cardiovascular disease and stroke. So these are very important things that we supplement in our systems to again, manage our risk of heart disease. In fact, homocysteine elevations are a better predictor of heart attacks than even high blood pressure or high cholesterol are. More people who have a heart attack have elevated homocysteine levels than have high cholesterol or high blood pressure. Why don't we focus on homocysteine usually? Well, because there aren't drugs to treat it, you know, doctors aren't super well versed in homocysteine as a risk factor for heart disease. And really the major cure for elevated homocysteine is proper diet. Yes, it comes from taking in a high amount of protein and not being able to properly break it down. But the real key there is it's usually due to a lack of vegetable intake or fruit and vegetable intake, which are what provide naturally that folate, that methylcobalamin, and will provide that active form of B6 so that our body can you know, manage all that homocysteine that's being produced and normalize homocysteine levels. Some other things that you might consider supplementing in addition to B6, folate, and B12 are, uh, for instance, SAMe. SAMe is S-adenosylmethionine. Uh, this actually helps our body to recycle homocysteine into uh, a less problematic compound or an amino acid called cysteine, which is one of the sort of root compounds that our body can then turn into a variety of other things, including the very beneficial glutathione, which is a major detoxification enzyme. So you can take this harmful metabolite and actually convert it into a non-harmful form that can then be used by other tissues in the body to produce beneficial compounds. So by taking in methionine or SAMe, or even just supplementing with methionine, you can actually improve your body's ability to metabolize and eliminate that elevated homocysteine. So consider supplementing with SAMe, some B6, B12, and folate, and get your cardiovascular risk back to its good range, help lower your homocysteine levels, and live a long, happy, healthy life. So if you like this video, you got something out of it, please share it with your friends. Check out more of our natural health videos, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, post them below, and always remember, 
knowledge is health.